11-year-old David and 9-year-old John Hume are two very lucky boys. They are seeing what most boys only dream about. Captain Kidd's solid gold watch, for example. It's but one small part of real treasure trove. The collection of the late Mr. Hubert Palmer, solicitor of Granville Road, Eastbourne, left at his death to his housekeeper, Mrs. Elizabeth Dick. It's got everything, including pieces of eight. This is a special one, a split coin for carrying secret messages. And now the piece de resistance, the original treasure chest of Captain Kidd, which raises the inevitable question, what's inside? Aha, pistols. This one belonged to another bold buccaneer, ruthless too. The notches represent the victims killed and the name Calico Jack, the desperado who did the killing. In 1697, Captain Kidd received the King's commission to arrest pirates went out to Madagascar and promptly joined them. It is a profitable undertaking, and the captain believed in safeguarding what he'd taken such pains to collect, hence the elaborate lock. After his arrest, about 14,000 pounds worth of treasure was recovered from his ship, the Adventure Galley. But it must have taken an awful lot of getting away. And now another treasure chest. It opens and reveals a fascinating hoard. A skull affixed to a Bible and a piece of the very flag that helped send the captain to the gallows. In a secret drawer discovered by Mr. Palmer, an authentic map to a treasure island in the China Seas. Pity it's upside down. There's no end to the wondrous and exciting things now in Mrs. Dick's possession, including a portrait of Captain Kidd as a boy. Many another boy of that tender age would give his years to own a real pirate's chest and a house full of dreams come true.